the peace of mind away from society, uh, just being out uh, on the water, um, teaching people. Your front door is a million dollar view every day you wake up. The fishing industry makes up about 50% of Alaska's export commodities. Kodiak, Alaska is currently the third most productive fishing port in the United States, and it's also one of the most productive fishing ports in the world. The port harbors a fleet of more than 700 fishing vessels. Connor Ross, a lifetime fisherman, has made his life here. I am the captain of the Flying Ocean, and it's a 100-foot crab boat, uh, tender, and it does mainly per, uh, Pacific cod, commercial cod fishing. And uh, it tenders salmon from Chignik, Bristol Bay, Prince William Sound, and Cook Inlet. Yeah, what are you working on, Geasley? I got it drilled in all the way down the bracket, okay. and uh, gonna, gonna, that's gonna be nice. This boat right now, we're getting a, a structural replacement in our bow, and uh, just overall a facelift. You know, we're going through all the engines, we're going through the electrical, uh, we're going through uh, the fish hole, the the propulsion of the boat, which is the shaft, uh, the underbody. We go through all the Coast Guard safety inspections, just make sure that everything's top notch, that we don't have any problems in any of our seasons. Most of the fishing fleet is in the harbor preparing for the salmon run in June. Boats are equipped with cooling systems that keep their catch in a salty brine just below freezing to preserve the fish until they get back to port. Down in the hull of the Lady Lou, Fred Steger makes last minute changes to the refrigeration system. Springtime means the guys that are fishing, the smaller boats are fishing herring, but we're, we're working on the boat. We got a new, new boat and we're putting refrigeration in, which has turned into a, a vast project, but uh, we're making headway and getting ready for salmon. The, the process of fish to table begins really with, with what we're doing right now, which is getting the boat ready. You have to get your gear ready, you have to assemble your crew, or if you have to find a crew if you don't have a, uh, a, a standard set crew. Then you go out and, and uh, start fishing. You catch the fish, you bring them to town. Often, sometimes uh, in the case of salmon and crab, they the canneries will actually send tenders or large vessels out to the, the grounds. The processors process the fish in whatever manner they think they'll sell best, and then they, they ship it out to the markets uh, around the world and in the U.S. ISA is one of five fish processing plants in town. With 300 workers, they can process over 500,000 pounds of fish in a 24-hour period. Got lots of risks in fishing. There's injury, uh, capsize, um, man overboard, uh, just uh, weather. Uh, there's everything. Just walking down the stairs or being on the back deck of a fishing vessel. Uh, you got the crane, the block, hydraulic crab block. You have picking hooks, you have crab pots. You have uh, just all the equipment on the boat is a hazard for anybody, you know, that's operating. There's everything that's a hazard on a crab boat or a tender or any boat. All right, when you're done with that, peel the tape off and then come see me. It's bred into me. I've been doing it since I was a kid as well. And it's, I've tried to quit more than once. And it's something that I just come back to. It's, it's in your blood. I like everything about it. There's nothing I don't like about fishing.